The exhibitions at Carlisle Juvenile Hurdle is next. And I think this is the only juvenile hurdle this week, so there's going to be a massive field. One or two of the four-year-olds would have popped off into one of the handicaps, I would think, but there'll still be a lot of four-year-olds in this one. So the top one is Bally Tuck for B. Fothering of Arcadian for Jim Murray, Bold Hollander for Marty Leedham, Bonfire Schwill for Dan Hughes, more of the same, Joshua Sutherland, Red Point, Darren Thompson, The Big Yin, Alex Cherry, Wait and See, Craig Beckwith, Albadora, Casbar, Thomas Hughes, Blitzrod, Blizzard, sorry, Blizzard Kilroy for Dan Hughes, Crusading Baranka, Craig Allen, Jailbreak, Leon Van Rensburg, Littlecoat Grand, Derek Hinton, Newlands and Nigella Lawson for Paul Rhodes, Piranha, Lassie, Ryan Costa, Stella, Raucous Mania, B. Fotheringham, Royal Portrait, Jim Murray, Ruby Swirl, Alex Cherry, and Stirred Not Shaken, Ryan Tamasebi. Big old field then. And away they go. Thank goodness one or two of the trainers have put their four year olds in the handicaps as they skip over this one. And Blizzard Kilroy a little bit slow at the back, but it's Piranha Lassie and Bonfire Schwill that are going to dispute the early lead, it would seem, as they get down to the second of the eight flights. And all safely over it with. Blizzard Kilroy just struggling a bit towards the back. Well, it's Bonfire Schwill, might well be from the same stable in the lead, with Piranha Lassie in second, and then right across the track they go. Bally took in the pink, probably just about showing third at the moment, but about seven or eight horses wide on the track as they pass the winning post then, and they start this long sweeping turn towards the back straight, and then they'll come back round again, but it's Bonfire Schwill on the outside of Piranha Lassie. They're the leading pair, and they're six lengths clear of Red Point, who's just got into third, is that one still the best juvenile hurdler around, Jailbreak is looking pretty good as well, Crusading Baranka also been doing well, Corbeck about another one that has been running well in these, but not in this race today, and Bonfire Schwill and Piranha Lassie are disputing the lead, with Royal Portrait and Arcadian, they've not been far away a lot of the time, I heard Royal Point, Crusading Baranka, Jailbreak next, then Nigella Lawson and Ruby Swirl, Bold Highlander, the one in the purple and white stripes from the same stable as Coolbeg at Bat, who's not in this, and then Bonfire Schwill is the leader, then coming down towards the third. Bonfire Schwill out jump there by Piranha Lassie, and Piranha Lassie it is that's gone on. Then Bonfire Schwill in second, then Arcadian and Royal Portrait are third and fourth, then Nigella Lawson and Ruby Swirl with Red Point, Jailbreak is after that, then Crusading Baranka, Bold Highlander, and Bally Took with more of the same and wait and see after that. Down on the near rail is Albadora Casbar. We on that one's outside Raucous Mania. The big yin has disappeared from the race somewhere along the line. I must have missed, I missed, missed that one. And it pulled up or fell over, but it's not in it anymore. So the big yin has gone. And Piranha Lassie over the fifth. In the end, something's definitely fallen there. It's Albadora Casbar. So Albadora Casbar is out of the race. And Piranha Lassie is the leader, but they are beginning to close on this leading pair now. And Piranha Lassie and Bonfire Schwill about to be joined by Red Point, Royal Portrait, Jailbreak, and Crusade in Barranca. So the big guns are starting to fire. Then after that one comes Ruby Swirl and Arcadian. He's trying to run her as well. So too is more of the same. Bally Tuck is also getting in there amongst the big boys. After that one comes Sturd, not shaken. And then there's a gap back to the rest of them. We're headed by Wait and See. Over the third last they go. And now the lead changes. It's Red Point who goes on. But is immediately caught by more of the same and more of the same. Up the centre of the track. Red Point trying to battle back. Arcadian is third. Sturd, not shaken. He's running on. Bally Tuck is in fifth. Over that one they go. That's the second last. And it's more of the same. More of the same from Red Point. Stirred not shaken. Then Arcadian and Bally took jailbreak starting to get going. Crusading Baranka next over the final flight. They go more of the same down on his nose. That could have presented the race to Red Point. It's Red Point now. Stirred not shaken comes out of the pack. Also Arcadian jailbreak's not going to get there today, but it's got to be Red Point. I think again Red Point from Stirred not shaken who's trying to close. Red Point is in front. Stirred not shaken is getting closer as they flash past the post. It's mighty close between the two of them. And stirred, not shaken, might well have just thrown down its credentials for the triumph with that one. But I think it's got up and beaten Red Point. This is a much flatter track, though, and you would fancy Red Point to beat third, not shaken at Cheltenham. And it's an extra furlong as one, I think, isn't it? Because it's only a two minor, I think. It's a win for, oh, it's a dead heat, it's a dead heat, stirred not shaken, Ryan Tamaselli and Red Point Darren Thompson have dead heated for the exhibitions at Carlisle Juvenile Hurdle, with Arcadian for Jim Murray back in third, Crusading Baranka for Craig Allen was fourth, and Jailbreak for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. <laughs>